seemed like at the time when we started the brand back when we probably started talking about five years ago or something when we were doing like kind of doing minor collective all that and then we talked about doing something because we all knew we wanted to work together and it felt like in the industry there was probably time for something new and fresh and in the eyewear there was none of the brands we felt like really resonated amongst us and our friends and like what our mates would wear or whatever and so that just seemed like a natural progression for us and obviously we all had an interest in eyewear I'd ridden for a few companies prior to that and was always interested in the back end of it and learn a bit when I was running for Anon and yeah I think it was just basically the reason it started was because we just felt like there wasn't anything there that resonated amongst us and our friends. We get to come to Italy twice a year now which is crazy like never would have thought you'd be able to travel for a brand and do business in a place like this it's kind of ridiculous but Italy's the eyewear mecca of the world and it's there's the factories the designers the history everything in eyewear is kind of started from Italy and still a lot of the industry is is here and obviously China and a few other places but we come here every year with our designs and we work with the team in Italy on prototypes and we look at where we're going to you know, because we have, we our frames are in different factories, wherever makes sense to each frame. Our engineer, he's absolutely unbelievable, pretty much a genius. Every time I come here, I feel like a sponge just picking his brain. Well, he's taught us so much, and because obviously we didn't come from an eyewear design background, let alone even a design background. So our time with him is like gold, just pick his brain, go through all our new stuff, and every single time we learn so much. But yeah, the time in Italy is basically just throwing out ideas for future concepts, asking questions about stuff that we want to do. Is it possible? Is it too much? Is it, can we make this out of diamonds? Is that just ridiculous? Then looking at prototypes of existing stuff that we've been working on. I don't know, we basically just go through everything and nitpick all the stuff that's already there, stuff that's coming, and try and work with the engineer as much as we can to just pick his brain and get everything as close to what we can before we have to leave. Most annoying thing Dion has done. He's a pretty fucking funny man to be in business with. He's he's great. I love that he's so passionate about what he does. He's so sporadic in what he does. And I love that he gets really, well, it's annoying, but I love that he gets so heated and so passionate about things that are so small. <laughs> Um, so I just let him just go with it sometimes. But in saying that, a lot of the things from packaging to styles to collabs probably wouldn't have happened without his annoying persistence of like, we got to do this kind of thing, which is, which is a good business trait to have because it's easy enough to just, you know, keep going. So his persistence can be fucking annoying sometimes. <laughs> Kai's a bit different to me because I'm such a scatterbrain and I'm so unorganized and I think I work heavily on emotions and I change my mind really fast. So he is very methodical, he's very business orientated. I think he's been really smart in business and he's, he doesn't waste time and I waste a lot of time. And so sometimes I feel like he won't go on this like funny journey that I like to go on with like an idea or something where we like dance around and do all this shit and I'll like, it's, it's hard to explain, but I kind of tend to go around in circles and up and down and here and there. And he's just like, bang, to the point, just give me a fucking answer. Let's decide on this now. Stop going off with the fairies for a minute. And I don't know, I, I don't like to work that way. I like to dance around and explore this and explore that and try something and it fails and 
whatever, where he's really good at just making quick decisions fast. And that doesn't annoy me because so much as it helps the company. But yeah, sometimes I, I want to dance with the fairies and he doesn't. <laughs> you know, I enjoy growing a brand and being in the production and dealing with the finances and the marketing and I really like it. So I could totally see myself doing this on a full-time basis, but I also love filmmaking too and it probably would be hard to step away from that. Um, so yeah, I don't know, <laughs> actually, <laughs> we'll wait and see. Eventually I would like to be working on it every day and we would have a big office with a bunch of rad people and go in there and it'd be super exciting and we'd have all our team and that sounds amazing. But yeah, I think I'm just too, um, I think I just can't stay focused on one thing enough. I need a bunch of shit going on so that I always feel like I'm on the verge of falling off the cliff. So I'll probably be doing 50 things by then, <laughs> not just one, but I'll be spending a lot of time on it.